stay tuned for A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. How you doing? Josh Miller here with A Day in the Life, and today we're hanging out with Brandon Marshall. So nice that he comes back every year and throws a big camp for the kids in the inner city. Wait till you listen to his message, and I'm telling you, this is a guy who's a true, true role model. Enjoy yourself. Remember, this is A Day in the Life. So you're drafted by Denver, played in Miami, mm -hmm. you're killing it in Chicago. Killing in Chicago. And here we are in Pittsburgh, yeah. throwing a camp for kids. Yeah. What's your message, man, and why in Pittsburgh? Well, there really isn't a deep message. You know, I, I don't even like talking at these things. Um, you know, when you look at the NBA, NFL, or all the major sports, right. you know, guys throw camps, that's the thing to do. You know, that's what they do, that's their community outreach. For me, you know, that's not what we're working at in the community, but I do know that this is a way to connect with the kids. You don't have to be doing this. This is what I'm blown yeah. away. I was a fan of yours from a distance. Yeah. I watched your growth through the years, and, and, and but watching you today, and listening to your messages, yeah. and, and, and you know, and, and what makes the stories today, is all the bad stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not sexy enough to sell papers. Yeah. People don't want to hear about it. They yeah. don't want to see all the good that's going on. Yeah. But you continue to you do this, and your message is unbelievable. These kids' mm -hmm. eyes are lighting up, and, and I know, you know, May. It's a big month for you. Yeah. Mental Health Awareness Month. You know, it's another thing that you decide to be in front of and, and, and be the voice of. I mean, so where does this come within to do this stuff? You know what? Um, like I said, when you get into the, when you make it to the NFL, you think it, you, you initially think that you're supposed to do this, but charity starts uh, from the heart and mm -hmm. it starts at home. So first, there was a transformation in my heart that said, "Man, I want to give back the right way." And then, once I realized that, you know, we had this amazing platform, uh, I knew I had to come back to Pittsburgh. Uh, this is a way that I can connect and show these kids, you know, they, you know, that they they too can can do whatever they want to do and inspire them. But now I have their ear because they have they love the football. Brandon Marshall of today. What would you have told Brandon Marshall of yesterday? The one that got oh, drafted, man. the one that was in college, yeah. the yeah. one that was in Florida. Yeah, I, I would have said, man, a um, few things. One, you know, you're 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 more than a football player. Right. Uh, number two, um, I would have said, um, you know, understand the big picture. You know, stop right. living for today. Yeah. You know, there's so much more that you can do. There's so much more you can accomplish. Uh, if you do the right things, if you surround yourself with the right people. Um, you know, I, I, this list can go on and on, but, you know, there's so much I, I learn on a daily basis. And uh, one thing I do know, if I'm staying the same, you know, I'm getting worse and, and I'm not living. So uh, every single day, continue to evolve and continue to transform. I am very lucky to be joined by Mishi Marshall. Now, as you know, this is Brandon's wife, and obviously you have a lot to do with what he does. So please explain to me what's taking place today, because this looks like a great success. Yes, actually, every year um, we come back to Pittsburgh, since Brandon's from here, and give a camp for the kids, a free camp for the kids. It's his connection um, to the youth of Pittsburgh. Now, obviously, this time of year is a busy month. I know he's, uh, he's, he's actually the face for mental health awareness as well. Um, a lot of guys that are the best in their position seem to just focus on their game, but apparently Brandon seems to actually spread himself out and help whoever he possibly can. Absolutely. Um, you know, Brandon always says that football is his platform and not his purpose. Um, after he was diagnosed, um, we made it our mission to help those who are suffering or help those who are in need of a voice for mental health. And so that's what this is about. It's what our foundation is about. Um, we aim to destigmatize mental health and um, give the people a voice who don't have one. So when I was six years old, I started playing football. But even before that, I started playing football in the, in the front yard, in the parking lot. We used to throw up the football, and we used to just, it was just mayhem. Everybody go out there and just tackle each other, scream at each other. We score a touchdown. We, we, we made fun of each other. And that's where I started. I started on Mayflower playing ball. I started in the park. I started at... Uh, um, uh, Peabody, the old, where, where the new, the new Obama. That's where I started running up and down the field. So I grew up playing ball. I went to middle school playing ball. I went to high school playing ball. 
I got drafted to the Denver Broncos playing ball. That's all I thought I was, was a football player. That's all they told me I could do was play football. They didn't tell me I could be President Obama. They didn't tell me that I could be a teacher. They didn't tell me any of those things. But what I do know is, if you guys have a goal, if you guys dream, and if you work hard, and if you listen, you will be able to do anything that you, can, you wanna do, anything that you put your mind to. So right now, I don't play football because I love it. I play football so I can do this, so I can stand in front of you guys and inspire you guys, to give you guys hope that if you wanna be a doctor, that if you wanna be an attorney, that, you, that if you wanna be President Obama, that you can do it. It doesn't matter where you from. It doesn't matter how much money you make. It's about right here, it's about your heart. It's about passion. It's about finding your purpose. It's about listening. That's what it's about. Do you want it? Yes. That's not a question. I'm just talking right now. <laughs> now, right now, some of you guys are maybe too young to understand this, but there's someone in this group that's going to understand what I'm talking about right now. There's going to be seeds planted right now today for when you look back four years from now, and you're gonna say, man, that's what Brandon Marshall said. It's important that you guys be the head and not the tail, that you guys be the leader. Cause you can get caught up with family members, you can get caught up with friends that wanna do the wrong things. Are you listening in school? Yeah. Are you listening to teachers? Yeah. Are you listening to your parents? Yeah. Are you listening to your coaches? Yes. The reward is greater than the sacrifice. So whatever it is that you put your mind to and that you work hard at, you can accomplish it if only you sacrifice. You're gonna, there's going to be nights where you have to study. You have to go to school. It's important. Don't just go to school. Go to school, make good grades. Don't just go to practice. Go to practice and put 100% in. Nothing's going to be given to us. Look at this field. Everybody's muddy. You... In Florida, we, I lived in Florida. In Florida, we had turf fields. In Pittsburgh, we, this, is the field, this is the fields that we have. That shows that where we're from, we work for everything that we have. It's never going to be easy. If you want to make it, you have to put the work in. If you want to make it, you have to have passion. If you want to make it, you have to surround yourself with good people. That's the only way. So I, I want to say thank you guys for coming out. I'm so proud of y'all. You guys worked hard. You had fun. I want you guys to listen. I want you guys to be the head and not the tail. I want you guys to be the head and not the tail. The reward is greater than the sacrifice. The reward is greater than the sacrifice. I didn't know you well before this, but I'm telling you, what you did today absolutely yeah. blew me away. Yeah. Pittsburgh's lucky to have you yeah. uh, as a voice. And also, you know, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, how do you want to be remembered? You know, number one would be to destigmatize uh, all of the, you know, um, misconceptions, perceptions of, um, you know, what mental health is. Uh, 15 years from now, I'm a numbers guy. I love statistics. So, you know, I would love to have raised, you know, a half a billion dollars mm -hmm. in, in, in every single dollar uh, that went directly to the cops, you know. So that's the goal. Uh, we think it's doable. Um, we're, we're dreaming big. It's like I told the kids to dream big. You know, I dream big. People look at me like I'm crazy, you know. Um, so one thing I do know when you're a pioneer, you see what others don't see. Uh, you go places uh, no one has gone, and uh, that's what we're doing now in our field. You know, where our cause is today is where you know, the cancer community and HIV community was 25 years ago. So um, we're just putting a face on it, you know, and we're trying to raise the funds, you know, we're trying to push legislation. You know, we would love to see mental health in school. There's actually a, a bill that we would like to get passed and that's HR 628, Mental Health in Schools Act, uh, where we can place a, a professional clinician and do on-site behavioral health care services uh, in every single school. So. Uh, you know, we have our work cut out for us, but um, we're excited. Well, again, hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you for letting us spend a day in your life. All the yeah, best to you. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you.
Appreciate it. Hey, Pittsburgh, this is Josh Miller. Stay tuned for A Day in the Life. A Day in the Life with Josh Miller is brought to you by Rivertown Brewing, delivering you the most enjoyable craft beer experience. Tom Henry Chevrolet, serving Pittsburgh since 1968. And Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You tried the rest, now try the best. We'll be right back. We can see it. This day has never been closer. Today, thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, thousands with blood cancer are living a normal life. We're almost there. We're making cures happen. Join us. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed volunteers can change the world. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, well, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I work as an industrial engineer. So today we're going to be talking about how economics and business is important to our lives, how it affects our nation and the entire world. This is opportunity. Success is measured by my ability to answer life's most persistent and urgent question. What am I doing for others? Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Halikahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice-cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour. A chance, a moment of possibility, an occasion that creates a favorable set of circumstances, a moment in time where obstacles are overcome and the probability of success is greater than that of failure. This is opportunity. Growing up, I saw people make bad decisions, decisions that were life altering. Thankfully, I had mentors who taught me that choices have consequences that shape the rest of our lives. Growing up, I knew failure was not an option for me. It's all about expectations and opportunities. That's what my mentors and parents always told me. When I got a full ride to Emory University, my mom said, I expected you could. When I became an industrial engineer at UPS, my mom told me, I'm not surprised, Michael. When I was awarded a full scholarship to pursue my master's degree, she said, of course you were. I was inspired, so I unlocked my dreams. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed volunteers can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. For me, success is measured by my ability to answer life's most persistent and urgent question. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Michael Jones. I work for UPS. I, am, I work as an industrial engineer. All right, so today what we're going to be talking about how economics and business is important to our lives, how it affects our nation and the entire world. A chance, a moment of possibility, and the probability of success is greater than that of failure. This is opportunity. Success is measured by my ability to answer life's most persistent and urgent question. What am I doing for others? Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. Hey, Pittsburgh, how you doing? Josh Miller here. Welcome to A Day in the Life. We are hanging out with Larry Foote, very good friend of mine. Played a handful of years with him. Very, very cool guy. He's going to be in the studio with us, and then we're going to have dinner with him later on that night, and he's going to bring a personal friend, his Bruno San Martino. Bruno San Martino, you say? Exactly. How'd they become friends? You'll find out. Enjoy yourself. This is A Day in the Life with Larry Foote. Welcome back to the Fan Morning Show, Sports Radio 93.7 The Fan. We've got Larry Foote in studio with us for a while. Always good to see him. He's got a very busy day, right, Josh? I mean, he's got all this stuff going on you were telling me about. He's got dinners. He's got people to meet. He's got, I mean, it's, it's insanity. To a day in the life. What's today looking like for you? 
Uh, hanging out with you guys, got an autograph signing to do over at Heinz Field. My career in college was similar to the NFL, you know, undersized, is it going to be that good, who knows. And I just grew into, you know, I started my last two years in college, had a great career, thank God. Then when I get, to, uh, get drafted by the Steelers in the fourth round, I'm rehabbing, I'm definitely coming back next year. Got a lot to prove. I know I'm an old guy, but my what I come to the table and say, hey, just watch me play. You know, this business, you put up or shut up. And uh, I'll be the first one to, to say I can't do it no more. I'm not, I, I will not be the guy that drag around. The Rooney's won't let you do it anyway, but. <laughs> hey, Hello. how are you? I'm so cute. Uh, I just gotta you. hug you. Uh, will you sign this? And I'm like, I have a special part. Will you sign this? Right there. Yeah, Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you Have so much. You too. Yeah. Hi. How Hi. are you doing? Good. How are you? Doing great. One, two, three. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to get your name on that group. Oh, okay. Can I get you to sign in here for my husband? Up here. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. It's a, boy. it's a girl. No, but it is a little low. Yeah. <laughs> it's a girl. It's not 100%. <laughs> Just the first one? Second. Second. I have a one year old at home, too. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, you know what I'm talking about. You say your son's birthday is in two weeks? Yeah. Well, the fifth. The fifth. Mine's yeah. I have a daughter. Hers is the ninth. Oh, She'll okay. be two, too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right around. Can I get one of these two? Is she, is she acting up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's all over the place, man. You know how you're is talking about Is she the baby? Like, yeah. She's my only one. I'm the only one? Yeah. That's what I mean. she, uh, she does the same thing, carrying jugs with I talked to Hines. He tried to, man, you can be on there five days and crazy fans. You crazy, but he there three days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. And he can be dancing. All right. It's automatic that you, you read yep. We out of here. Let's but roll. I don't see how this changes anything. Except it eliminates a play that, that that's pretty much boring. A day in the life with Josh Miller is brought to you by River Town Brewing. Delivering you the most enjoyable craft beer experience. Tom Henry Chevrolet, serving Pittsburgh since 1968. And Nakama Japanese Steakhouse. You tried the rest, now try the best. We'll be right back. Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Halikahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice-cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour. We can see it. 
This day has never been closer. Today, thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, thousands with blood cancer are living a normal life. We're almost there. We're making cures happen. Join us. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed volunteers can change the world. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, well, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I work as an industrial engineer. So today we're going to be talking about how economics and business is important to our lives, how it affects our nation and the entire world. This is opportunity. Success is measured by my ability to answer life's most persistent and urgent question. What am I doing for others? Welcome back to A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Miller here with A Day in the Life. We take you inside their homes, inside their lives, outside the locker room, outside the ball field, the playing field, the basketball court, the baseball diamond, and we're going to see what they do on their off days. Kind of cool. Let's see what happens. We're going to visit Larry Foote today, see what he's into. A little, little restaurant in that paint. Man, I was a... Uh, Pitch rock. We're going to teach you, I teach you saw it. My stick figure woman. This class. It's up to you. Uh, my wife got a home care business. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please rise and welcome six-time Grammy award-winning recording artist, Larry Ford. <laughs> I didn't know Bruno was here, true story. And remember I told you my uncle loved you. I knew Bruno growing up, big wrestling guy. It's a little sad that he don't like Hulk Hogan, but. <laughs> <laughs> what about Junkyard Dog? Did you like Junkyard Dog? I was a good guy. Okay, I love Junkyard Dog. <laughs> Andre the Giant? Good, he was a good friend of mine. Okay, great, okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did he kind of stood? No, he was Okay. But I was telling him, my uncle was like, when I told him I met Bruno, you know, he lives around the corner from me. Went crazy. I mean, started telling me about, remember, did you wrestle at Joe Lewis in Detroit? Detroit had it every week. He told me how his grandfather took him down there to see you. So, anyway, last week we go down there and watch the playoff game in the weekend. And he put $20,000 into his basement, man cave. No women allowed, so I go down there. I see some Michigan pictures when I played at Michigan, Pittsburgh, uh, some Super Bowl pictures. But right smack dead in the middle is the picture you autograph. You wow. put Uncle Skip on there. It's oh, wow. Bruno. I'm telling you, he's the biggest Bruno fan. <laughs> he was so proud of it. I'm telling you, I took backstage. I took back seat, trust me. And it's awesome. I wish I would have known you was coming. I would have videotaped it with my phone. <laughs> but he was very proud uh, of that picture. He put Uncle Skip. I don't, I don't know what you put on it, but he endorsed it. Uh, Said send a hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't know why I'm up because you know I'm part of the family. Manager. I'm part of the crew. Uh, we got Josh Miller, ex stiller Hands off, this is my army, my Italian army. <laughs> Franco got his boys, he's my boys. I got some old, some wise men over there, some hit men. We got a judge. We got Bruno. We got it all. We got it all. <laughs> but, uh, I'm getting healthy, I'm um, lifting, uh, I'll be back next year. Good. Uh, we need you. Yes. I'm so hungry, I'm like, I don't even remember the first two Super Bowls I got. Uh, <laughs> you get so angry watching those games, because uh, I wish we were playing. Um, even this year, that, that damn kicker would have made the field goal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were hot, we were hot. I believe we would definitely beat Cincinnati. Oh, Denver yeah, would have been a challenge. Hard. But uh, the way our offense was playing, I think we'd have a shot. But hey, uh, next year, uh, I'm more motivated than ever, because I know I'm towards the end. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we get number seven next year. But I guess what I'm here today, I, I, I'm thankful, because I understand 
This is my first time. I hope it's not my last, but I appreciate coming in. I love hearing stories. I love seeing people that are as real as it gets. You know, everyone leaves their ego and their problems at the door. You'll scoop it up on the way home, but at least here, it's nothing but smiles and it's family and it's friends, and it's very nice to see. Uh, uh, Foot has been kind enough to let me follow him in the day, and uh, it's funny because we're going to do something called a day in the life. And we're doing a day in his life. And if you're going to do a day in his life, then you're going to do it right. And you, you know, this is what I have. This is what I do. This is, this is coming up. I'm on the menu. These are some of my friends. So he was kind enough to let us come. Judge, thank you very much for letting us come. I'd like to thank uh, Don Madama for arranging this meeting of the five families. <laughs> We've had associates come from so far as uh, Lama Avenue <laughs> and Edmund Street. <laughs> We'll be right back. Stay tuned for A Day in the Life with Josh Miller. Don't spend your time bottled up. Pack up and go. And no matter where you go, bring Rivertown along. Whether you enjoy our smooth Maxwell Scottish Ale or our refreshing Hale Kahiki Pineapple Ale, our advanced technology canning process ensures that Rivertown craft beers taste just as fresh and flavorful no matter where you go. Tailgating with friends or cheering on your hometown team at the ballpark. No matter where you go, enjoy ice cold Rivertown craft beers. Visit our brewery and take a tour. We can see it. This day has never been closer. Today, thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, thousands with blood cancer are living a normal life. We're almost there. We're making cures happen. Join us. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed volunteers can change the world. All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, well, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I work as an industrial engineer. So today what we're going to be talking about how economics and business is important to our lives, how it affects our nation and the entire world. This is opportunity. Success is measured by my ability to answer life's most persistent and urgent question. What am I doing for others? Hey Pittsburgh, Josh Miller here and I hope you enjoyed yourself today watching A Day in the Life. I'd like to thank Larry Foote and Brandon Marshall for allowing us to hang out with them. And keep your eye out for future episodes of A Day in the Life. <laughs>